Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, I know uh, I had a busy weekend. So, but I wanted to share something with you. This is a um, prayer journal that was made for me by Live to Learn Dana. Hi, Dana. And um, I know I showed it on my channel, but I wanted to show you how I'm using it. So, I didn't write anything on the front page, but I did write something on this page. Now, it's no secret that I've wanted to go to Paris my whole life, but um, I wrote in here that on the little card that says, Lord, I'm praying if it is your will, please make a way for me to go um, to the UK, Paris, and Scotland next year. This is the desire of my heart. And then, um, thank you for my many blessings that you give me daily. And then what I'm doing is I'm writing scripture on the tags that she put in here. And this one is Psalms 24. And it says, may he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill, you, fulfill all your counsel. Which means to give you success in all you do and this one is psalms 37 4 it says delight yourselves in the lord and he will give you the desire of your heart <coughs> excuse me and so then i'm writing down little prayers but on the back side of this i thought this would be a great place to start a prayer list and right here is you know i did a little video yesterday asking for prayers for Jackie, who is, um, uh, <coughs> goodness, um, Lady J, not Crafty, 2016, and, um, please remember to keep her in your prayers, as her mother has passed away, and, um, that's a difficult time, I remember what it was like when my mother passed away. And I just felt like my whole world ended. So, please keep her in your prayers. Alright, so, today, the devotion is called The Big Picture. And it's another one of them hard ones. And it's from Matthew 16, 23, and it come, and it says, Get away from me, Satan. You're a dangerous trap to me. You are seeing things merely from a human point of view, and not from God's view. Can't, who in the world could Jesus have said that to? Well, wouldn't it have been devastating to say that, excuse me, for Jesus to say those words to you? They are powerful. And Jesus said it to his friend, Peter. That's who he said it to. One of his best friends was Peter. Jesus had just predicted his own death. Part of the reason Jesus came to earth and Peter said no way that won't happen see Peter didn't understand the big picture of Jesus' purpose for coming into the world he just didn't want anything bad to happen to his friend and his master but Jesus couldn't let anyone stand in the way not Peter not you not anyone the, this thought stands alongside the statement that you're either for Jesus or against him work with him to bring to pass the things of God and you know sometimes we think how many times we say oh man that's not going to ever happen or something you know related to doing God's work and you know sometimes I wonder if God has said to me get out of my way Satan <laughs> you're keeping me from doing what I want to do I don't ever want to hear those words from God but, you know, but it is true, you're either for him or against him. And there's like no middle road there. And that's, you know, that's the scary thing. There is no middle road. You either for or against. You either believe or you don't believe. There's just no middle road. So this morning, I'd like to say a little prayer and start this week off thinking about what we can do to be for God. Let's pray.
Dear Father, I've always identified with Peter because he's so emotional, and you know that I am. He doesn't always make the right decisions, but he means well. Help me to measure my words, my thoughts, my reactions, so that I can always stand for you and let that show by my words and my deeds and my actions, Father. I pray that you will help those watching so that they may stand for you and by our deeds, words, and actions, not get in the way of the kingdom, your kingdom purpose, but to be the way for your kingdom purpose. And dear Lord, I just pray for my friend Jackie right now, Lord. I know she's hurting. You know she's hurting. Please wrap your loving arms around her and bring her peace and comfort in this very difficult time. And I ask these things in your son's name. Amen. And amen. Have a beautiful week, my friends. I will see you in a little while with Monday morning coffee. And then I'll be back tomorrow morning with another daily devotion. God bless. Bye.